Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. There you are! How are you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. There they are. 
Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land! If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? Now let's get this hand on. Jump, Yankee! I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there, we're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. It's going to work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing. 
as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it would be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny. You go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get gone. Rest of you, get packing! Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon. Doing it in the day, with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding, you're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Calmly <laughs> <laughs> does it, fellas.
boys. Act normal. Hitch up here. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks! They are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on! There's your deal, Dutch. Who's there? Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on! Don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. What now? Well, at least we got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence? And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, 
It's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne, again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know? I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Someone is here. Look. Those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, it's raining. <laughs> hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? <sighs> hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? 
Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Oh, look, oh, there he is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Hey. Uh, how did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. Was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Guess we're more interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth! Here we go. We are here to arrest you! Come out with your hands up! Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. You mistook it for what weakness. Is she... Now I will show strength, and you may mistake it for brutality! There is no escape for any of you! I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time! I killed your friends! Really start to irritate me. You saved us, Arthur. Oh man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east. Cause then we'll be in the ocean, so we're gonna have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, miss, I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my the boy's heart. Please do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. You be at Doyle's Tavern, a million avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing's been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. 
took her home. Oh! You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I need your stooges! Calm yourself, you don't owe me nothing! Miss! I don't owe you nothing! Nothing! Okay! I spit in your eye! I did! I told them! I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again! Now I've got God's ear! You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you! You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me! Oh, you betrayed so now, me! What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty! You. Damn! <laughs> She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. All right. Get back to work. Yeah. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. You can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Dinsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No boy. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, you lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. Whoa. We 
You all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Micah, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me, and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot. I mean, that ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's in your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Horrible man. Now come on, both of you. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <laughs> I gotta go settle some things. For me, no one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. It's all our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <clears throat> Shrine. Only
only just to burn That's the way it is That's the way it is Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be in. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying! Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! 
You ready, John? Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Thank you. 
traitor! gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I won It's over. Now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I'm dead. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on!
Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. <sighs> but I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. At least die like a man! <laughs> Hellfire! It's just like old times! <laughs> Come on! You turn around and start walking! You got me! Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch, we all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. I, I, you okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Blackwater. I'll go see. Hurry up! I got a wedding I want to go to. Come <laughs> on. 